discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation, gender identity, and gender expression. Why does it seem we are now hearing more about this issue? It may be because of Caitlyn Jenner or the Supreme Court legalizing same-sex marriage. It is interesting to note that federal laws have not changed. Title VII still does not explicitly prohibit discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation, gender identity, or gender expression. So what has changed? Well, state and municipal employment laws have been changing. New York's governor recently announced an executive action designed to protect transgender people from discrimination and harassment in housing, jobs, and public accommodations. And as of late 2015, 19 states and the District of Columbia have laws prohibiting discrimination against transgender employees or based on sexual orientation. Presently, Oklahoma law does not prohibit discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity. Prior efforts to pass laws which would cover sexual orientation and gender identity have been unsuccessful. The Employment Non-Discrimination Act, or ENDA as it was called, never got through Congress. The Equality Act, expanding Title VII to cover sexual orientation and gender identity, was introduced in the U.S. House in July of 2015, but has not been passed into law. So let's look at the law as it currently exists. 